economics does best when it's focused on urgent questions like climate change. Um, we, we do better economics when we're oriented towards, towards real urgent live political questions like, like around race and class. Um, I, economics, I think, um, you know, and this is a little, little of what we're saying, economics when it's sort of focused on questions of markets and efficiency abstract, I, I think doesn't contribute very much to the conversation. It, it quickly loses contact with, with the, the, the real phenomena that it's, it's supposed to be dealing with. And, and what focuses our attention is precisely that, that sort of second set of questions that, that you raise. Those are, those are the sort of questions that create enough urgency that, that forces, uh, you know, people to adopt a more realistic um, kind of economics. So, so in that sense, I think we actually do a better job talking about markets. We give a better, more usable definition of things like efficiency when we're actually focused on, on concrete questions like climate change. Um, you know, I think there's a good reason that modern macroeconomics begins with the Great Depression, because this is, this is a moment when you really do need to look at the economy as it is. Um, there's, there's a lot of urgency to that question. It's obvious that the existing models aren't working. And it's also, there's a, there's a political urgency to coming up with a better set of stories and a better set of tools. And I think the climate crisis um, has a very good chance to be a similar sort of clarifying uh, moment, maybe more, much more so probably than the financial crisis of a decade ago or whatever the next financial crisis is. I, I have a feeling maybe the next one is, is closer than, than the last one at this point. But I think, I think climate change may actually force us to, to rethink um, some of our broader economic ideas in, in a more fundamental way. Um, you know, the truth is, Established economic theory does not give good questions in general to the problems of, you know, profits, economic growth, and so on. And I think I think a focus on climate change can actually do improve improve the field in that way. Um, the other thing, you know, you bring up race, class, gender. I think I think there is a problem there that um, you know nobody has a god's eye view of the world. Nobody can step out of their own skin and, and see things from a perfectly objective view. And as as a, you know, a middle class white man in the United States, I have a particular way of looking at the world, which is in some ways, you know, a limiting one. And I think economics as a field would, would be better if we had more, more diversity, more, a broader range of backgrounds and perspectives. Yeah. So, I mean, I'd like to add though, one of the, the reasons, I mean, when you actually think about it, um, there should be no reason why uh, a particular set of tools uh, that you use in one one sphere should automatically be uh, something that you can use in another sphere. And I think one of the great um, uh, sort of flexibilities uh, of uh, the way that modern economics is set up, you know, which is just a set of maximization problems, uh, it allows you, it allows people to sort of seamlessly say that they're actually studying uh, on the one hand buying uh, uh, oranges and apples and the other uh, on the other side uh, solving the problems of climate change right so i think there is an issue um uh in the way that you pose it really uh, that that in some sense um uh, it, it is using tools which it may be uh i agree with josh it's not very good at but it may be uh better than uh its applications in other tools in, in other spheres so for example the very famous uh uh example of uh, the, the choice of discount rate for climate change. Uh, and I, you know, th that's been such a long-standing disaster uh, in the way that we've spent, to, uh, you know, the amount of time we've spent to actually um, think about this, uh, this particular issue for which that sort of analysis is completely inappropriate. So uh, I think, yes, there are places when it may be more appropriate, but still it's not, um, you know, it's not maybe uh, even very, much, very appropriate in, in those spheres. Uh, overall, I think one should, uh, you know, I, I would agree with Josh that this current moment and, you know, other moments of crisis, you mentioned uh, 2008, it really opened up the space um, to think much more carefully uh, about specific issues. And I think when you have a, a crisis that confronts you, it forces you to come up with a different sort of economics. So to use other tools, other uh, traditions of economics, which have better answers than the ones that are there presently.